Hello everybody, thank you for watching once again. Today we are going to be doing the air guns versus fruit challenge and we're going to be trying four different kinds of air guns against two different kinds of fruit. So let's get into it. So guys, we've got two different kinds of fruit, the pomegranate and the apple, of course. We just had this on hand, so I just decided to do this quick little video here for y'all. Um, the first gun we're going to be testing out is this little crossbow vigilante. Last week we did a video of us using a few of these guns against a tablet. This week we're going to be doing this um, basically the same ex exact thing, the same exact guns, except we're going to be using fruit. So hopefully you enjoy it and we'll get it done. So first of all, we got the crossbow vigilante, as I said already. The second gun we're going to be using, Thompson 2100 Classic, small little BB gun. Um, by the way, the vigilante here, this is running about 450 feet per second. So small little gun, small BB gun, not going to do a whole bunch of damage. This one here, about 700 feet per second, still BB gun, so I'm not expecting to do a terrible amount of damage, but it will. It'll do quite a bit more than the other gun. Um, next gun we got on our list, the Gamo Barman Air Rifle. Uh, this one's running about 1,000 feet per second. It is actually pretty powerful for a pellet gun and only 177 caliber pellet gun, so that one's up there. We're going to be trying that one out. And then my favorite gun, the one, my biggest gun that I really use a lot is the Beaver Commander. So that was a 22 cal running about 1,000 feet per second as well. So we'll get it going here. So I'll just say you guys out. We're going to try it right now at 10 yards, a little backstop right there. These pellet guns, except the Beaver Commander, shouldn't go through that plywood, especially after they're going through apples and pomegranates and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with the apple. In my opinion, the apple is a little bit... Um, not quite as strong as the pomegranate. We're going to test it out in a minute, but my opinion is that because the pomegranate has a pretty tough outer skin on it. So we'll go set it up and we'll catch it. Okay, so there we go. This is a 10 yard target kind of backstop, just half an inch siding right here. So that's just all I had, but I think I should hold it. Anyway, I've got the apple there and the pomegranate there. And we'll go ahead and get it shooting. I do want to remind y'all to wear eye protection because it is very important, especially with these BB guns, like they were bouncing off and I put this eye protection on just because these BB guns, they're not necessarily very powerful, but they're the guns that you need to be most concerned about because a lot of the times those pellet guns, they'll go in and stick or else they'll have a really large lead splatter and it'll be all fine. But those BB guns, they're not that powerful so they're having, most of the time they're going to bounce off their target. So I just wanted to make sure everybody's clear on that. I want to be as safe as possible for all you guys, so just want to tell you that before we get started here. So honestly guys, I'm pretty um, surprised with the results in a good way because I did not think the little small 400 feet per second BB gun could do that, but look, it had a pretty good little gash. It went through the side there, definitely did some damage. N nothing big, but still it did some damage on the pomegranate. That was the second shot I took. The first, the first shot, I didn't even know it hit it, but it actually did. I got a slide, it actually slit on the side right there, and then the next shot, it actually went through, so it did make a quite a big damage can hold this. This is from one shot, it made that big slice, so I'm pretty impressed with the results. I'm going to go ahead and try it out on the Crossman 2100 Classic, and I pr I'm pretty sure we're going to need more than two fruits because that did a lot of damage. Okay guys, so what just happened was, I shot the fruit of course, but right before that I had a lot of trouble because my gun stock actually broke, so that's crazy. I'll show you that a little uh, later on, but let's go test out the damage that that, that uh, shot did. So the shot right here for the BB gun, right there, that's where the entry hole is. It's actually where that other one slid, but that one has a little nice entry hole and a nice little, ex basically not even an exit hole yet, it barely even went through. Oh, it didn't even go through all the way, so there's the BB right there. Honestly, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting you to do a little bit more damage because that 20, that um, 460 feet per second gun did a lot more damage than I was expecting. So I was expecting the 700 feet per second to go a little bit more. Who knows? Someday I'll have to get a chronograph and see how true those specs are. But anyway, uh, let's go to the pomegranate. Yeah, the pomegranate, basically the same thing. There's a little tiny entry hole right there. You can see that right there. Um, and then I just exited, or, yeah. But anyway, let's go up to the little Gamma Varma air rifle, so see if that can do something better. 
Okay guys, nice puncture wound on this one. The gamble garment did a pretty good little job. I'm not sure if this is it or this is it, but wherever it hit, it hit nice and tight. Really good shot went through. So that was the pomegranate right here. Let's check out the apple. Oh, it is getting a little tough to see really what the where they hit. But okay. Yeah, so it went in, went out. It didn't really do much damage on the apple, so that's what it is. A little chunk came off the pomegranate right there. But it didn't do too much on the apple, which is surprising because I, I always, you know, at the beginning of this video, I did say that I was expecting it to do a little bit more damage on the apple than the pomegranate, but the pomegranate's really getting hit hard. So we're going to try the Beam Commander out. I'm really excited for this just because I know the Beam Commander should be a very powerful gun, especially with the hollow points it got in it. So we're going to go test it out and see how it looks like. Okay guys, so we're coming up here on the targets. First, here's the apple. Uh, let me see, where is that entry hole? There's, here's the entry hole right here. It went straight through. You can see a full um, hole and you can even see through. I'm not sure how you guys can see it, but I can see through the hole. A very nice little fracture wound here. It went straight through on the other side and it's kind of mushy in here. Exactly what I like to see. So, not disappointed there with that. And then right in here, the pomegranate. But flapped up right here, you can see there's that hole went straight through. Really nice job. Both of the pellets did some good killing power right there. So we're gonna go full send with both of the um, with all the guns I got, just gonna hammer them with BBs and pellets, and we'll see what kind of damage we get. We have some absolute damage and I really just went full out if you didn't already tell on that apple so here is what we got with that that beam commander really did put the damage on it six seven shots out of it I don't know but anyway we really gave the damage to this just got a bunch of apple pieces everywhere it's really mushy I don't know what else might might do a little bit more damage on it I don't know and then we got our pomegranate and it actually doesn't look that much worse, but there's definitely a lot of wounds through it. There's actually a pellet right there if you can't see that. I'm not sure how, but BBs in there, just the whole nine yards. Pretty cool. I think we put the hammer down on some fruit today, but hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.